came up here to go fishing and I heard some pups yapping at a den. So I let out a couple howls there back in there and uh, the whole hillside lit up. Day not to have a gun. I don't have a gun. I've been working these wolves in from about a mile away and they finally showed up. I could hear them walking on the rocks for about five minutes before they peeked around this edge. I've been going back and forth between howling like a wolf and using my mouth to uh, do a predator call or a fawn in distress and it slowly worked these guys in. They're about a hundred yards right now and they're closing the distance.
these wolves are about 50 yards right now, and they are going to move in to about 10 before they stop. Hey, boy. <laughs> Me and the wolves right there. Look at that. Coolest footage ever. I had that wolf at 10 yards. One, two, three, four of them. called those wolves into 10 yards with nothing but my mouth. That was pretty rocking. No gun, no knife, I'm just going fishing. And I heard these wolves howling up here. So I thought, why not try and call them in? And had about eight of them coming in. They're still howling. Four came right up to me, I had two at 10 yards. It was rocking, way rocking. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. That was maybe the coolest experience I've had yet. Pretty awesome. I'm betting half the people that watch this video think I'm absolutely nuts for calling those wolves in. But here's something I've learned. Hebrews chapter 2 verses 14 and 15 tell us that just like we are flesh and we all die because we all know we die, Jesus became a man just like us 
and died on the cross to defeat death. He went, he went to the tomb, he was buried, but then he rose from the dead. He actually defeated death. And the whole purpose of that is that we wouldn't have to live in fear of death anymore. The 15th verse of that chapter says that he would deliver us from the fear of death that we have been in slavery to our entire lives. And if you think about it, our whole lives, we live in fear that something's gonna happen to us and we tiptoe around death and we try to make sure that we don't do anything stupid or we don't put ourselves in a precarious situation. And the whole time we're tiptoeing around death and we're slaves to the fear of death. Jesus came to give us life and life abundantly to overcome death so that we could live this life without any fear and we could do amazing things and incredible things without worrying about what's gonna happen. So that's why I called those wolves in because we only live once, right? And if Jesus defeated death, then I have nothing to fear. What's a wolf gonna do to me? I got eternal life with Jesus.